but still there are several aspects of spray painting that you may not be aware of, so stay tuned. Step one, clean, 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 clean the surface in preparation before you spray paint. If you have soap scum, hairballs, fur, mold, etc., you're just wasting your time if you don't clean it up before painting. I am using a specialty paint, Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. It has a hard finish and resistant to moisture, and it's specially designed uh, mainly for like refrigerators and oven ranges and things like that. But I think it'll give a good hard finish for this project in the shower. On the tiny print on the back of the can, this small, small writing, these are known as instructions. There's actually some good stuff on there. For instance, it says, shake the can vigorously for one minute after the ball flows freely. So I would say do it for three or four minutes and don't skimp on this either. It also says on the can that do not use in uh, confined spaces. And few things are more confined in space than a shower. So you want to do this job quickly and get out, turn your fan on, open window if possible. And by the way, this thing goes over your mouth and nose. Because of the noxious stinkiness of this stuff, I'm going to touch up these little spots, the brush first, which should have minimal fumes before I do the other part. Again, so I can get, get out quickly before inhaling too much of this stuff. Another curious and important thing to note on the instructions, may recoat within a half hour or after one week. And that may sound unusual, but it has to do with the catalyst and the outgassing process. If you put two coats on too fast or not in the right uh, specified time period, it can uh, pickle up or orange peel. And there's a shot at what it looks like before where the paint is peeled off in several large areas. And there's what it looks like afterwards. Unfortunately, on closer inspection, you'll see that it did pickle up in several places. I'm not sure why, possibly because the uh, chrome plated existing stuff was too slippery or not clean correctly. But regardless, I'm going to let this dry and get out of these fumes and do it again next week. And seriously, these fumes are especially terrible. So if you see, um, have headaches or see unicorns or something like that, uh, get in and get out. Get some fresh air as quickly as possible. Stay away from this stuff.